Quickly, hide in the coffin before Cicero and the traitor meet. Why are you still standing there? Hurry, before the meeting... Me? I've been part of the Dark Brotherhood from the day I first hatched. I am shadow scared. According to plan. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex, <laughs> perhaps even the Argonian, and the Unchild. What about you? Have you. have you spoken to anyone? No? Of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not... Not that I'm angry. No, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a humble servant. But he will never hear my voice. For he is not a listener. Oh, but how can I defend you? I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone. Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you. For you are the one. Yes, you. You who shares my iron tomb. Who warms my ancient bones. I give you this task. Journey to Wallen Road. Speak with Armand Mortier. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard. But I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero, the time has come. The words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence dies. What? What treachery? Defiler! Debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! She spoke to you? More treachery. More trickery and deceit. You lie! The Night Mother speaks only to the listener! And there is no listener! She... She said that. She said those words. To you. Darkness rises when silence dies. 
But those are the words. The binding words. Written in the keeping tomes. The signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then it's true. She's back. Our lady is back. She has chosen a listener. <laughs> she has chosen you. <laughs> All hail the listener. <laughs> By Sithis, this ends now. Back away, fool. Whatever you've been planning is over. Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. Oh, I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no. She spoke only to her. To the listener. What? The listener? What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken! The silence has been broken! The listener has been chosen! When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? You look like you've just seen a ghost. Please tell me you haven't. Cicero said he spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother, who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? By Sithis. And? What did she say? Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is, but Valenrood, that I have heard of, and I know where it is. Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. This is all just too much too fast. Go get some work from Nazir. I need time to... to think. Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. You've got people to kill, my friend. Be Get to it.
trouble. Please, Yorick. He's not bad. Really, he's not. Is the line for my next performance starting already? <laughs> Come on. Uh, don't be shy. Plenty of room for everyone. Is the line for my next performance starting already? <laughs> Come on. Uh, don't be shy. Plenty of room for everyone. We need to talk. Look, something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but... Well, we need to find out. If the Night Mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact, we'd be mad to ignore it. And I think we'd both agree, Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. So go. Go to Volenrude. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Armand Motier, and let's see where all this leads, hmm?